Hello everyone and welcome back to my Enjoy Mechatronics YouTube channel. So my name is Shaker and in this channel we are going to talk about mechatronics. So we are going to make some cool projects like robotics, home automation and more. And this is the first course that I'm gonna upload. Basically we are going to talk about Arduino and it's gonna be for beginners. So if you want to learn how to use this board, it's called Arduino Uno. You can watch me, so don't worry, we are going to cover that step by step. As you can see we have different kind of boards basically this one is called the Arduino Uno and it's used for beginners that's because it's bigger and this one is called the Arduino Nano as you can see it's very small but these works the same we're going to use the same program and we could use them to make the same projects but in the first videos we are going to work with this one because it's easier to use then we are going to work with this one so before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss my next videos. Also hit that bell icon, I appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. So first of all, I want to talk a little bit about this board. Basically, it's a microcontroller that is used to create thousands of projects. And this is actually the brain of this board. And all of these legs are connected to these pins. So we have several pins to connect other devices. For example, we can connect a temperature sensor using one of these pins. Then we can check if it's too hot, we can turn on the fan. And this is just one example. But in this video, we are going to make a simple project. We are going to create a blinking LED. So this board comes with an LED and it's this one. It's linked to pin 13. For example, when we set this to high, it's going to turn the LED on. And when we set it low, it's gonna turn it off. So the first thing that we need to do is to plug in the board using this cable. It's the same one that is used to connect a computer with a printer. So we have this port, we can connect it. Then we need to plug this side to our computer. Once you have done that, you will see this LED. That means our board is powered up. So first of all, we need to program it. Then you could unplug this cable and then it's going to work independently. For example, we could use this uh, battery. So in order to download the IDE, let's search for Arduino IDE. Then let's click on this link. I'm going to add this link under the video description. Also, you could buy this board on Amazon. I'm going to add a link under the video description. You could also buy a starter kit that comes with other components like sensors, uh, LEDs and so on. Make sure to check out the link under the video description. So under this page, as you can see, we can download the program for Windows, Mac or Linux. For me, I'm using Windows. That's why I'm going to use one of these options. Basically, I will use this one, Windows 7 and newer. Go ahead and click on it. But if you have a different operating system like Mac OS, make sure to click on this link. For me, I'm gonna click this one. You could support them or you could just download the IDE. So I'm gonna save it under my desktop. And as you can see, it's downloading. And once it gets downloaded, let's go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna double click on it to install it. It's very simple to install, just agree. Then next and install. And once the installation is completed, we can hit close. And here's the program that we are going to use to create our programs. So let's go ahead and open it up. So basically here we have two kind of methods. This one is called setup and this one is called loop. So all of the lines of code that we are going to write under this setup is going to be called once when the program is started. And this loop as it's called, it's going to be called over and over again. Basically we use this one to set the configuration because it's called once. And this one, we use it to check for something. For example, we can check over and over again if the temperature is greater than a certain value, then we can turn on fan and so on. And on the top, we have some tools. For example, this one, we use it to compile our program. And this one is the most important button. It is used to upload your code into your Arduino. So first of all, let's go ahead and create the program to make the LED blinking. And to do that, we need to go to the setup function and we need to define our pin, which is pin number 13. So this pin is uh, labeled 13 and it's connected to this LED. We need to set it as an output so that we can turn it on or off. And to do that, we use this command and this is the first one. 
and it's called pin mode and this is actually called a function we need to add a parameter to it so the first parameter is the pin number we are using the pin number 13 and then we need to define it as an output that's why we need to write output and it's all capital and make sure to end your line with a semicolon and this is called an instruction basically it's a command that is used in our program for example here we are using this command to set the pin 13 as an output then in the loop function we can turn on the LED by setting the pin 13 to a high or low to turn it off so to turn the LED on we have this command and it's called digital write and the same thing this is a function it takes some parameters the first one is the pin which is pin 13 and then to turn the LED on we need to pass in high and that's going to turn our LED on and make sure to add the semicolon that's because this is an instruction then we need to wait a little bit using the delay function basically it takes the number of milliseconds that we need to wait for example we need to wait for a second and a second is 1000 milliseconds then let's turn it off using digital write the same thing we need to pass in the same pin number and to turn it off we use the low keyword then semicolon after that we need to wait a bit using delay and let's use the same time one second and that should be it guys so this is our first sketch this is called sketch or program as you like let's review it again so inside this setup function we need to set up our pins for example here we are setting this pin as an output to turn the LED on or off then we have this loop function that is called over and over again the first line of code turns the LED on then we wait a second and we turn it off and finally we wait again because this is a loop so this is going to be called over and over again we could also save our sketch using ctrl s I'm gonna save it under my desktop and let's give it a name like first sketch then let's hit save and the final step is to upload our code into the Arduino so that we can see this LED blinking and to do that we use this button which is this arrow and it's called upload but before we do that we need to do something first of all we need to select the kind of board that we are using and to do that we need to go to tools then under board make sure to select the board that you are using for example the Arduino Uno if you are using the Arduino Nano you could select it from here so as you can see I am selecting the Arduino Uno that's because this one is called the Arduino Uno then we need to set up the port using tools and under this port make sure to select this one and it's labeled Arduino Uno as well and that's the port that we have connected to our Arduino make sure to select that once you have done that we can upload the code you could also compile it using this button to verify it and we have this green bar and yeah our code is good we haven't errors here we can upload it using this arrow so let's click on it and there you go we have a blinking LED as you can see it's turning on and off you could change the delay as well for example we can change this to uh, 500 milliseconds or maybe 300 then let's go ahead and upload the code again and now as you can see it's blinking faster so this is our first sketch, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below, also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel, I appreciate that, and hit that bell icon, and finally I want to show you that you could use this board independently, so I'm gonna unplug it from the computer, then I'm gonna power it up using this battery, I have connected using this kind of cable, and let's go ahead and power it up, And yeah, our program is working, and as you can see, the LED is blinking. So I think that's pretty much it, and I will see you in the next one.